This quick video will show you how to send USDC to your MetaMask wallet on any supported network. The most important step is to select which network to withdraw USDC. USDC can exist on multiple networks, so you need to decide which one you want to use. This will most likely depend on the decentralized application where you want to use USDC as well as the networks that are supported by this application. Let's say that I want to swap USDC on PancakeSwap, so I can either send it to the BNB Smart Chain or the Ethereum network. Once you have decided which network to use, you can select your MetaMask wallet and copy the deposit address. This is an EVM compatible address that starts with the prefix OX and it will be the same across the different networks that are supported by MetaMask. You can now go to the centralized exchange where you have your USDC. On the withdraw page, you can paste your deposit address and select which network you wish to withdraw. Binance allows you to withdraw USDC using networks like BNB Smart Chain, Avalanche, Ethereum and Polygon. This is because all of them are EVM compatible. All of these networks below are not EVM compatible so you won't be able to use them to send your funds to this wallet address. After you have selected the network, you can enter the amount to withdraw and confirm the transaction. Once it has been process, you should now be able to receive USDC in your MetaMask wallet. The same process can be applied to any other centralized exchange, such as KuCoin. You can go to the withdraw page, select USDC, and paste your MetaMask deposit address. You will need to select which network to withdraw USDC. KuCoin allows you to send USDC via the Arbitrum or Optimism networks, which are not found on Binance. KuCoin also offers the cheapest withdrawal fees if you are using the KCC chain, which was actually created by KuCoin. After you have selected the network, you can enter the amount and process the transaction. Now that you have USDC in your MetaMask wallet, don't forget that you need a native token to process any transactions on the network. This is also known as gas fees and it depends on which network you're on. For example, you require some Ethereum on the Ethereum mainnet or you need some BNB on the BNB smart chain. The USDC that you have on the Ethereum network will be separate from the balances that you have on any other network like Polygon. This is because the blockchain networks are separate from each other and you need to use a bridge like multi-chain to bridge your USDC from one network to another. Do let me know if you need any help with this in the comments below. Another popular network to withdraw USDC is the TRC20 network and you can find out why you can't add the TRC20 network to your MetaMask wallet in my video here.